Okay, in this video, I'm going to learn how to concatenate strings in Julia. I'm sharing. In this video, I'm going to learn how to concatenate strings in Julia. I'm sharing my experience learning Julia as a new language so that hopefully we can answer some questions that uh, the broader community might have when getting started with Julia. So follow along as I learn how to concatenate strings. Uh, it seems that uh, Julia has a string concatenation function here. It seems Julia has two ways to concat two easy ways to remember to concatenate strings. One is to use this string function, and the other one is to use this star. So let's try those out. Uh, let's say we have a oh, z equals hello. Oh, my Julia takes a second to load those up there. A equals world. And we can concatenate those with the string function. So string z a gives us hello world. Now we want, oh, that's, that's obviously a mistake. Let's put a space in between. So we do string z space a. So that should be concatenating three strings. The string we saved in z, the string that we're giving it this space, and the string that we've saved in a. So yes, that gives us hello world. Now the other way that Julia typically concatenates strings is with the star. So we do z star a should give us, yep, with the mistake, z star space star a gives us hello world properly, excellent. So that's the easy way to concatenate strings in Julia is using the star syntax where you do string star string. Alternatively, you can use a function called string, which uh, compiles all of its arguments into one string, concatenates all of its arguments into one string. Uh, let's see what happens if we use the plus symbol, because in other languages that I've worked with in the past, typically you can concatenate strings with a plus. So let's try Z plus A, and that should give us an error, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so plus doesn't work on strings, and I believe that's because I was reading the Julia documentation earlier, and that seems to be because uh, in mathematics, plus should perform the same function regardless of the order the arguments are in. However, uh, star is argument order dependent. So if you do A plus B, that should be the same as B plus A. However, uh, Julia being a mathematically focused language, a different function is used where A star B does not always equal B star A. So Julia's carried that over and said, string one plus string two is undefined, but string one star string two gives you string one string two joined together. So we can try that again. We can do uh, string, as, as a shortcut, I'm not using the variables, a, b, c. See this time I've given the strings by putting it in the talking marks. There we go. Uh, so another important one to note there that I've done is uh, putting something in talking marks denotes it as a string. So we've got variable here, variable equals string, variable equals string, and then we can join those variables together, concatenate those variables as a string. So that seems to be how to work with strings in Julia. How, what other operations do we have available? Do we have some sort of, uh, can we split the string? Uh, let's try, what's the syntax like in Julia? Uh, okay, let's see how to split a string in Julia. Okay, Julia has a split function. So let's do splits, A, B, C, D. Let's try one. Nope, okay, that's not how you do it. Splits, A, B, C, D. Okay, how do we, let's see, generic, okay, so how do we find out more about, how do we find out more about functions? How do we find out more about these functions? Oops. Uh, okay, how to split a string. Ah, okay. So I read the documentation and split is the one where you want to split on a um, delimiter. So let's do our abc.def.hij. And now we can do splits and we give, actually, it should be the other way around in Julia, splits 
like this, and then we can give it our dot, and there we go, we split it into an array. So that's one way to uh, use strings. So some of the ideas to work with strings in Julia, let's try slice, nope, okay, slice doesn't work. So those are some of the operations that you can do on strings in Julia. The most important one is how to concatenate strings, which is simply uh, the star command or uh, the string function. I'm sharing these videos as I learn Julia to help the wider community see how to learn the how to learn this programming language and how we can go about building a project together in Julia. I'm aiming for some sort of dashboard as the first project. So hit the subscribe button. Over the next few weeks, I'll be releasing videos about the basics of working with Julia and how to uh, how to add packages, how to um, work with strings and variables, and how to code in Julia. So stay tuned, and those videos will be coming out shortly. See you soon.